Hey guys, Saseni. Mambo VP. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to work, but I have like one hour. So I said, let me come and talk one or two things about life situations. When you see me, see me, see me. I, I have to analyze these issues. I don't care whether you like me, you hate me, yeah, I, whatever. So, and today I'm going to kumulika mashamba. Yes, that. So, of late, we have seen so many people coming up selling land some are genuine some are not sometimes we know the genuine ones but we we have some questionable ones and those are the ones that i'm gonna talk about and uh the other day we had somebody saying that when you she bought a, a, a land somebody else came with papers and another one with papers and another one with papers this is not something new it is something that has been there for long, for many years. Uh, I remember one time in Kayole, it was bad. We didn't have uh, like phones that we could take photos, videos, and maybe circulate to one other would be buyers, you know. But it was very sad. Somebody comes, constructs. At night, somebody comes and demolishes. Somebody comes, dem demolishes today, somebody comes, buys tomorrow, and another one comes to construct another day, within a week, like five people, five different people in the same land. And you know, you cannot go and start telling those guys, Maze, uh, this land belongs to so-and-so, this land belongs to somebody, you'll be in problem. Because nobody will believe you. They'll tell you, go to hell. Yeah, go to hell. Then after uh, uh, like a, a week or so we saw the police and the police came with the with the, the owner of the land they are trying now to fence and another group came regrouping they come to fight the owner of the land it's a plot not the land by then they were serviced plots when kayole started no, nini hakuna kitu saingine mnajuaga. Tunajua mengi ukiona tukinyamaza na kujiangalia mambo. We know a lot. They were very much surfaced with nice roads from the I don't know the Kanjo or whatever and uh, electricity poles all around which were then stolen and sold like scrap metals. <laughs> don't joke with Kerende. And so <coughs> The plot, you see, these are two rival groups. It was a bad fight. Finally, the owner of the land won because so many people knew the owner. And most of these plots and most of these lands that you see people are selling, the people knew the owners. And this is what happens. And I'm going to tell people who don't know. You might think, Gaka, I am small, yes, but I know a lot. I have seen a lot with my few years. I have seen a lot. Many people who are surrounded there, surrounding the plots, surrounding the farms, surrounding the, um, the, the garden, surrounding anything that is being sold, they know the rightful owner. Sometimes they don't have guards to come and tell you where, must they take care? This belongs to Kare, this belongs to so-and-so. Because they don't want to be uh, caught up in the melee, in their problems. They don't want to be witnesses of eventualities. So they watch from afar. Some have the guts, some have courage to go and tell somebody, by the way, that plot belongs to so-and-so. This is a true story I'm talking and. In my timeline, one day I wrote there, all of a sudden, out of the blues, so many lads for sale have erupted. It's like an eruption. It's like the Meningai crater erupted, you know? And now magma is flowing, burning, destroying, a lot of destruction on the way. 
and that is what we're gonna happen with some of the lands we're gonna see fights we're gonna do demolitions and this is what happens with the lands if you don't know sometimes it's good to sit down and, and, and reason what happens if i buy somebody's land nobody will come to fight you because they don't know who bought you you come with your papers i come with my papers you know another one com comes with their papers and another one comes with his or her own papers. Wait until. Even the police, that's what they do. Wait until. They don't intervene. Wait until you come to construct. You bring your materials, building materials. You, 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 you bring everything that you need. You bring your fundies. You, bring your, you start constructing. That is when curry comes. You know what? This is my plot. When you start nye, 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 another one comes. When we start nye, 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 another one comes. When we take each other to the police, another one comes. And now, sometimes they do up that, uh, no, you are constructing on somebody's land. What, what happens next? Demolition. So when we were buying our plots in Rai, that was a long time ago, like 20 years ago. Uh, I remember we, uh, when we went to fence, we went with some guys, some concrete, uh, some cement, some water, because we carried our water. In, we had cars, so we carried a lot of water in my car and his car. So we were going to fence with those cedar, cedar posts, metaraqua. So, and when we were fencing another lady came god bless that woman forever i don't know whether she's still alive i don't know it i'm not sure and she 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 asked hey did you buy here or did you buy on this side and now me i'm always sometimes ready to to listen then reason out much later to 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 enable me to make a rational decision and uh, my my ex was like, mm, ah, leave her alone. I said, no, we have to listen. So he said, okay, we listened. So I went back to the lady and I asked her, why did you ask that? Because she said, uh, one time when we were being allocated these uh, plots years ago in the 90s, we were told one day, one time, some few big roads will pass by here and for sure a bypass passed there and we almost uh, got into problem because the post the beacons the, their beacons was just they were even trying to fix it because it came next to a beacon like this can you imagine if we ignored that lady and bought this side where the bypass came and passed by will be in total shit. Yeah, some of the people are paid, yes, by the government because it passed by there. But those people who ignored, they were never paid. They were, the houses were demolished. They were demolished with no compensation at all. So these people, they don't, actually they don't come to tell you you bought somebody's land. No, they, they don't have the mandate. They wait until you come to construct, then you go to court, you bring court order, stop the, the construction, stop the building, demolish the building, you're building on somebody's land. This is a topic many people will not like me, people will hate me, but I'm here to talk on behalf of especially the diasporians. And I know why I'm talking about the diasporians. I'll come here and talk about it with the issue of land buying. And why we are seeing many diasporians being conned and they are sent uh, houses, in quotes, eh? in the process, being built for them. When they go back home, nothing. Because a land was born, bought where, where it is null and void. Nothing happens there and there is nothing. It's that vacuum. 
So when we bought the, the, the plots and then the bypass came and passed by there, wow, we knew it is true. The lady had the truth. When you go to buy the lands, please go do your research as people surround the, uh, around there because uh, either way you'll find people alongside the, the, the farm being sold, the, the, the land being sold, the plots being sold. And for your information, I don't think Roy, if you're in diaspora and you hear about Roy, Roy, there is no plots in Roy remaining. The plots that are in Roy are people's plots. So get the individual seller, not me selling on behalf of Jerry. Why am I selling a plot in Roy on behalf of somebody? There are no plots there. I went round round to look whether I can get an extra one. And the only one I could get was where they demolished and then people took twigs and demonstrated because the government has demolished their land, their, 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 their houses, their structures. And that was in a sewage. Those people who are in Roach, they're in Roy. And they, they are watching Harlingham all the way down to Kamulu. They know what I'm saying. And to make the matters worse, when, when, when Roy plots were being sold and demarcated, I have friends there. You see where this Vicky Mary um, uh, primary, I don't know whether it's a secondary nowadays, is behind there, around there, I have friends. In the 1990-something, 96-98, she approached me and she told me, you know what, uh, um, the, the lands are being sold in uh, a place called Roy. Actually, I went there. It was impossible, but I went. Then I said, ah, me, me, I'm not interested. I hate issues with the land. So it was going for a few, few, few dollars, few, few coins very cheap cheap like bread ask them they know i wish i can get their numbers and come here talk on one one on one with i think she's one of the leaders uh there in in roy she can tell you no land is remaining there so and in roy i have a plot i know and i hope you people are not being sold that plot because i saw a text here somebody selling six million that plot if it's the one i'm suspecting the owner lives in uk hey hey two people i know they live in uk and one 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 i know so this person who lives in uk has the original documents has his rightful owner if he's still alive he's a guy he's the rightful owner but that plot has been sold by the time I was there, by the time I was constructing, by the time I was farming, because I farmed, farmed for years, selling the maize to Giturai, Sokoya, Giturai, Mikohoro, you know, beans, selling beans to Mama Bogas and whatever, those who sell beans, you know, and giving to people. That plot has had like when I was there, more than 10 people buying the same plot when you go to construct you construct you reach the windows somebody comes demolishes it's okay and one person was stabbed to death he died i'm talking the truth i wish by then we had these smartphones we do videos maybe by now i'll be playing the videos for you to believe what i'm talking about so that plot Another one comes, it used to be like court orders, stop the construction. Another one comes now, starts constructing because the, 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 the people and the police and the chief, they around there, they thought this is the rightful owner, Kare is the rightful owner. <laughs> then another one comes, you have constructed it reaches rental here. And one time somebody almost roofed and now at night we had at night it was demolished i was not living there it was it was scary no people had constructed it was demolished 
But by the time we also uh, finished our constructions, the same plot had like more than 10 demolitions. People buying. Next time I'm coming to talk about Roy uh, Bakasi ranching. And I'm, I'm going to be very open because I have an issue with them. I have a fight with them. I have a case with them. It is something I know. I'm not just talking out of the blues. I told you when I come here to do something, to talk about something, I have researched. I have all the information. I have the paperwork. I also have the paperwork here. And I have my paperwork with my lawyer back home. I still have some original documents. And somebody, if you're watching me, you know you bought one of our plots with fake documents. And now it's a case with the government perjury. Ay ay. You people, you think we come here and yap yap. We don't come to Facebook. We don't come online to, to yap yap. Sometimes we come to tell the truth. But you know truth hurts and people don't want to hear the truth. They want to hear nonsense. Me, I'm a nonsense person. I am a community-based person. So I am here to advocate for the people, for the community. And especially the diasporians. People are taking advantage of the diasporians. Hmm? You are in the UK, you are in the Switzerland. You went there like 20 years ago. You know nothing about lands. You are the target. So if next time I'm coming to talk about being targeted, why are you targeted? You are a target. I'm a target. Reason? Because sometimes we don't know. We are overwhelmed. We, we over trust people. Hmm? Because they are coming on online, blah, 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 blah. You think they are real. They are not. Some of them are not real. At one, one time, somebody posted um, on, on uh, Facebook, and I commented there, and I asked, where is this? Because the place he posted, was she a lady or a man? The place he posted, I knew that place like the back of my hand. Do you know from Halingam, Halingam, up there, Halingam, after Njiru, Njiru Apo, Joka, kwani mnadhania sijui sadau. From up of wachana na choka. Ata choka, choka I had tried to buy to buy a a, a plot, but I knew it will bring issues. Some places, some places started issues. The other side of the road issues because of the Kerema family. You go buy Kerema's property, you're gonna be shoved out, you're gonna be demolished, your houses are gonna be demolished, you're gonna take twigs to the roads because you're taking advantage also. Sometimes cheap is expensive, and that is why you buy that cheap cheap land, you get problems in in the, on the way. You construct. It comes to be demolished. Then you start blaming the government. Oh, now i Serikari to intervene. Which Serikari? <laughs> Research before. And this is what used to happen. So you go to the land. So they are, they are lying to you. Hey, we are doing such. Me, I've gone even to the surveyor. surveyor. When, when you hear to not go up surveyor up there. <laughs> These are the people who know the truth. They have some of, they have the original documents, but because of a corruption it used to be but I, I thank the government now that we will be doing and doing our own search online nobody will ever say, uh, sell you a fake land because you go there in the morning they search they tell you oh the land is clean it belongs to Kale hmm. in the afternoon it belongs to Kare tomorrow it belongs to Kare you know the day before it belonged to Modosi. Next week, it will belong to, let's say, Kipchumba. That is how it used to happen. So you will think you are the rightful owner, but you are not. You are not. Because, I'm checking the time so that I don't get late to work. Because that is how it used to be. I personally, and that is why I'm very agitated, when I rode there, all of a sudden, lads, out of the blues, uh, large selling resurfaced. There are those lands who, which are deep down, down, down. Those are genuine. They might be very genuine. And maybe somebody might 
um, uh, is it contract me to sell on behalf I get commission that's okay because it's dumb but anything near Nairobi you guys seriously unless I sell to you personally don't let somebody sell a plot on behalf so this person selling a plot on behalf is she dead is she, is she sick is she deaf does she see yeah. seriously don't be calm just in broad daylight think outside the box why ask questions why how what when then hmm? so these some of these lads in right and in right if you go up up keep on going Kithungori, they are small plots. They have the rightful owner. You go around there looking for a plot. I couldn't get those are like 16 years ago. How comes all of a sudden people are selling uh, plots in Roy? Which Roy? So somebody posted there on, on Facebook about a certain um, uh, plots. I knew the owner. I think they are four. I think four, four, or four. Six. Because it looks like this. I know it has some, some construction, two houses. And then it was uh, like on sale. Then I was like, I, this, I think the owner of this land is so, so and so. And I think they are still alive. What happened? Then I said, I'm not going to be against or for this issue i just wrote something uh, asking a question really then i think uh i don't know the reply i don't remember it's like two years ago 2017 and i was blocked so and but also somebody commented down there when you want to buy by the way when you want to buy a a, a plot in rye first of all uh, ask the people neighboring those, that plot. They will tell you who the owner is, whether the owner is living, whether he's dead, or whether after dead is the son who 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 takes care of the plot, or they don't know where the owner went, but they know the owner. I'm talking the truth, unless somebody wants to lie. I know of guys who would have told you the rightful owners of those plots from the 90s but most of them are dead because i used to work in Ryan with a non-government organization so i know i'm not just yapping here you s don't make me agree edgy, 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 very much mother <laughs> so when you want to buy a plot in right and ask yourself this plot uh, has been lying here idle for uh, like 20 years. Why is, all of a sudden is it being sold here? I remember one time some people wanted to, to grab a, 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 a plot for a, a certain show, show who was like, I don't know, what happened she she got dementia and uh luckily and people came and raped that that lady because they wanted the lady to move away from that plot those people who know about this case they know i'm talking the truth and uh because i was working in a medical field so i used to know a lot when people bring cases they will tell you the story behind maybe the attack the the questions behind the attack is all about these plots you know uh, yes and they wanted this show, show to to go up there. but i thank the people who were surrounding that show show they stood with the show show they for the chief by then that chief that is many years ago you know them the very chief not not the the few chiefs who have come up i'm talking about the 90s they stood and they stood with that show show the plot belongs to Shosho, and nobody could have come to bother the Shosho as long as they were there and they were seeing. 
So the person who was so much willingly uh, wanted to 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 really make sure Shosho is gone. They never killed the Shosho with then God. Sent some some guys to come. They came, talked with the Shosho. And you know the Shosho is a good person. And the Shosho, I understand, cooked some food for, for them. Because, you know, you just cuckoo. You know Shosho is a good Shosho. But they wanted to make sure... They, 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 I don't know what they put in the in the food when Shosho went for something so that Shosho can sleep and they take the documents and now they come and start uh, after few few and the Shosho was raped even that night not the guys who came to eat during the day because they want the Shosho to just go away but the Shosho was just there this is my blood I got this blood when I was strong, you know? And people fought for that Shosho. When you go to buy that land, no land, it's no land in Loi. Lands are deep down there. I know if some of my friends are watching here, they have some lands, live alone plots. Lands is so many plots together, it becomes a land, extensive. If those people are selling to you, I know several people, I have no issue with that. Because I also wanted to buy where they bought. Then they have more money. I didn't have the money to go at least develop my plot. Then they went and uh, came with workers. And uh, they dug holes and uh, planted trees. And the trees were nourishing very well. And looked like forests. Looked like uh, somebody lives there. Because they had money. Sometimes they'll go with tractors, uh, farm. Um, uh, mania, you know, get money, sell the, the maize, but I didn't have the money. But I remember by now it's very expensive, but by that time, the land down there, right down, down there, if not Kamuru, I know Kamuru around Kamuru and Komarok down there, not the Komaroks, the, 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 the estate. There is a Komarok down there, KBC, down, down, down. My child used to school in Kangundo for years. So, and I, I used to work in Roy, and I used to stay in Roy, and I have properties in Roy. There's nothing you're going to tell me that I don't know about Roy. And Roy has issues. Somebody talked about if you living in Roy, if you bought something in Roy, uh, uh, look for a lawyer. That is a topic of another day. Hey, I, I have been in those offices camping there, being very vocal and being very quiet, watchful until they feared me. And I can tell you what one of the guys there in the office told me. You people listen. If you don't want to listen, go ahead. <laughs> I'm not begging on you to listen. Somebody out there is going to benefit with what we are talking about. So I wanted to buy a land down, down there next to my friends. I wish I did. By now I'll be selling and I'll be constructing go to equity and tell them, you know what, Mr. Mwangi, Dr. Mwangi, sorry, I need money to construct an estate here, but oh, I didn't pass. If those people are selling uh, plots to you, I have no issue because I know their owners. But in Roy, down there, Kamulu Joska, come there, up, up, Gedungori, go, 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 sewage, go, go, go down, like you're going to Roy, the new sewage, the new bypass, up, 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 Kwakinyata, uh, where people were killed and maimed. Seriously? You guys, trust me, you're in total shit if you buy in lands there. Watch out, ask people, ask questions before you buy. Ask that some people on the bypass. Ask those shoshos who have been attacked every now and then so that they can live. Eh, ask them. They know. Go, go down the, this way. Eh, one of the lands was owned by the signatories. Some of those lands were owned by signatories. Some are lawyers. They have the rightful information. Do not be lied to. Ask questions. Ask the original owners. They will tell you everything because Roy is like a village. You know, our villages, they know you the way you know one another from this corner to the other corner. That is the Roy I'm talking about. Do not be deceived. Do not be 
hii. Sasa nitasema nini? Do not be lied to. Talk to the original people. Talk to the original owners. Talk to the people surrounding the plot you want to buy. They will tell you the story behind that plot. Lying idle for years. They will tell you this plot has been sold to 10 people. If you want me to get the number of one of the plots so that you don't buy it, it belongs to somebody in the UK, I will. I know some of the numbers. I can even take the map. I think I have a map here. I can I, I have a, a map in my in in my in my one of my documents because I, I saved the documents uh somewhere in my computer in my documents so if i want to uh, go there i go check i can check the number and give you all the numbers that i know the owners have problems some died and the lands are owned by the children and those are the children who are being fought by people with money in in, in, in an aim to grab the land talk to the original people there knock at their door our african setup is that we are very helpful but sometimes we ignore the advice we ignore what people tell us because we think we tend to think they don't want us to benefit woe unto you like right now somebody is there uh, uh, cursing me i don't care i'm talking to somebody who would be called who would be the next culprit the next i'm telling you i'm just helping somebody right choka haringam down there up up there no lands remaining those pros have delightful owners and ask them down there choka no choka mawembili eh mawembili ask those people around there what happened to that person with a very beautiful house People wanted to shove him out because of the, the plot. Oh, plot this, oh, plot this, oh, plot this. So many issues. Hmm? Some of these things that you hear, like oh, thugs came to attack, some of them are not just thugs coming to, to steal, no. Some are thugs who are coming to make sure you are out of that plot. Because that plot belongs to somebody. You are staying there. You'll be in shit. Ask my friend what happened one time. You have sold a plot in uh, Zambezi, I don't know, Zambezi or whatever. Hmm? And now, because when you go to buy, you never consulted with the family to know whether the, the, that piece of land has issues. Hey, hey. At one time at night, because now he thinks he's so uh, secure, with no, no, no thief, no that can come in, ne? big fires, dogs. They came with a tractor, <laughs> exhausted, full of uh, human shit, human feces. And they put the, 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 the horse pipe this way. He could not pass. He could not go nowhere. He had to run away. When he came out the following day, <laughs> the compound was full of poo-poo. <laughs> yeah? Sometimes they'll come with poo in uh, nylon paper bags, like the flying toilets of K K Kibra, and throw in the compound. He had to leave. He had to leave the, the lad. I don't know whether he'll sell the, 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 the house or the plot back to the family members because nobody will stay there. When you want to buy lands, ask questions around there. Do your reke. Go there. Hmm? Do your research. Talk to people, gather information. You will get a lot. And now, because my time is up, I'm almost late to go to work. No, I have, uh, yeah, I have 50 minutes. Uh, yeah. With that few remarks, and I'm coming back here to talk about Roy Mbakasi Ranchi scheme. Uh, I know it like the back of my hand. I know those original people, I forgot some of the names, but I have a lot about that. We need to save our people. Let's not shy away because we don't know what people will say. Me, I don't shy away. I like helping the people, you know, because if I die with information, then even God will not be happy. He will punish my offspring. I don't want that. Mm. 
I'm not being punished because my parents never did something that was uh, what angering the neighborhood. So we get the blessing in the lineage. We don't want our offsprings, our fourth generations to get curses because we never helped where need be. With those few remarks and from me to you as usual, not with love, with concern, peace and bye-bye. Bye-bye. I love you.